Yes, I've keynoted more than 200 conferences, but I've never done an event in 10 minutes. And I have 10 minutes to wow you guys. So you with me? You guys ready? OK, the countdown is on. Before we talk about what's happening today in 2013, let's take a look back at the way things used to be and how far we've come with technology. Circa 1970, the personal electronic transactor. This giant machine weighed 44 pounds. Did anyone have one of these? Don't be shy. Don't be embarrassed. Anyone? There's always one. OK, I found my one. I can move on. Congratulations. Let's go to another decade. And I think we may have a few more people raise their hands. <laughs> Circa 1980, the famous brick phone. I remember my dad had one of these phones. I grew up in a really small town in Prince Edward Island, and I thought this was the coolest thing in the world. In some ways, I would argue that it has better reception than some of the phones that we have in our pockets today. However, very heavy and very expensive during those times. And then fast forward to the 1990s. This thing called the internet came into our lives. An amazing platform where people could come together from all over the world and share ideas. And this is the way that we used to talk about the internet. Well, there's a revolution going on in rec rooms, offices, and classrooms around the world. A revolution in which 15 million people are taking part. They're sharing scientific data, arguing philosophy, or passing on cooking tips and gossip night and day through a computer network called Internet. For about $200 a year, they log on to personal computers connected to phone lines and communicate across cultures and continents. Bill Cameron has this report on the growing phenomenon of Internet. Amazing. We can all agree, right, we've come a long way from these days. Okay, good, for, good to hear. Now, in 2012, last year, I would argue one of the most powerful devices of the year really truly was a tablet like the iPad, for example. The first time I realized this was such a powerful device was when I was watching my son, who was just two years old at the time, use the iPad. And it was fantastic watching him. He would literally pick it up, play around with it. He understood where to charge it. He understood how to switch between applications watching videos on YouTube, he's hooked on Netflix. It's gone even further now that he is four years old. The only problem was, and I'm sure many of you who are parents have experienced this, he then went up to the television screen in the living room, and he does this, and presses on the screen because he wants the screen to interact with him, and of course it will not, and then he gets frustrated like any young kid would. And when I watch him, I really think about the future of digital, and I think about this younger generation. As much as we may think we're so savvy in this room, the reality is we're building things for that generation, and it's moving so quickly. So let's talk about the ABCs of digital marketing. When I wrote my book in 2010, I talked about the ABCs as being authenticity, bravery, and consistency. And I would argue that these things still hold true. However, there's a whole new set of rules as we've evolved over the past few years. And also, I think this one quote is especially important for 2013 from Mario Andretti. If everything seems under control, you're just not going fast enough. And I think this applies to the digital marketing world. So what are the new ABCs? The first one is to adapt quickly. Although people talk a lot about innovation, I would say for most of us, it's more about adaptation. Here's a great example of this. Lucky Charms. Many of us may remember the Lucky Charms television commercials in the 1970s. They used to play all the time. That was the audience they were going after, the audience who was watching television. Well, obviously, the audiences have changed over the years. And just last week, they released this video that really caters to a new audience. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Always catch me. Always catch me. Cause I'm as green as me clover hat marshmallow. Oh, lucky. We're getting closer. Always catch me. What if I had a new great green clover? I'll blend right in. It's so good. I'd love to play it all, but I cannot. However, you see they've really adapted here. They've adapted to new audiences, a younger generation. So what they've done is they've taken a trend that has been popular online to auto-tune something, and they pushed out this video just in time for St. Patty's Day. So they are adapting to these new environments where you need to move quickly and think about your audience's changing platforms so regularly as well. The B in my ABCs would be to be responsive, to be quick on your feet and to be responsive as far as getting back to your communities online. 
A great example of this is the concept of real-time digital marketing. And we saw this recently with Oreo at the Super Bowl. I'm sure many of you followed this story. Amazing as they lost uh, power uh, uh, during the Super Bowl, the Oreo team was so smart and so quick on their feet and so responsive. So what they did is they put out this advertisement on Twitter, again, popularizing the term of real-time social media, you can still dunk in the dark. So that was the message they put out there as their team was sitting there. And more than 10,000 tweets were sent out in the first hour of this message going out. So amazing to think how quick we need to be. And if we're not quick, we know what happens. Social media disasters, and there are plenty of stories about this where people are just too slow to respond or they haven't really been smart about the timeliness of their social media campaign. And the third and most important, and I cannot stress this enough, and I know this theme is going to be throughout the entire conversation over the next two days, is this idea of creating value. When you're doing anything in the digital marketing space, you need to ask yourself, why the hell am I doing this? Why am I doing this? You can't do things just for the sake of cool technology, the shiny technology that comes out there. You need to create value for your communities. And there is no better example of this than a campaign that was recently run in Australia by McDonald's where they created a lot of value with this really neat idea. Using image recognition software, it knows what you're about to eat. And by combining this with a date and time, it accesses McDonald's vast and comprehensive supply chain in real time. The app gets tracking in an instant, pinpointing where the ingredients in the food you're about to eat came from. And that's where the fun really starts. Cutting edge 3D augmented reality brings the data to life. Our restaurant tables turn into stages, letting you pick an ingredient and find out more about it. they've really created value for their consumers. This idea that you go in, sure you use all this shiny new technology like augmented reality, 3D graphics, but what they're doing is they're creating value throughout this campaign because all of a sudden I can sit there and I can eat a Big Mac and I can point my phone at it and I can find out where the lettuce came from, where the tomatoes came from, where the beef came from. So there's that value in their campaign. So we always have to go back to this idea of creating value. Now why is this so important? Let's go back to some of the ABCs and how quick things are moving along and look at the younger generation, how fast they're growing up and their expectations for all things digital. Generation ABC, as you may want to call them, are moving very quickly. We need to be prepared for them. If you didn't believe me about how savvy my son is, let's take a look. Can you show me where the games are? Where Angry Birds is? Do you know where Angry Birds is? Find Angry Birds. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. That's right. Hit the hit the one of the ones that you've done before. There you go. Ooh. Oh, wrong way. Oh no. That's right. That way. That's the way we go. Oh, and it went over. So eventually he gets it. And I don't want to brag, but he was only two years old then, and he just turned four. He's already leveled up in Angry Birds. And somehow, he just convinced me to buy a box of spiders for $3.99 because of all these in-ad advertisements. And I look at this generation, and I think of them, and I think of all we have to do with digital marketing, how quickly things are happening, and how important those ABCs are. You're going to learn a lot about this today. I'm so excited to meet many of you. I don't have time to do Q&A, but I'm going to hang out outside afterwards for a while to take any questions. I'm at Amber Mac on Twitter, and I also just wrote a blog post on the new ABCs, and that's on our company site, connectnow.com slash DMS, and uh, wrote that blog post just for you guys. I have to warn you, though, we just launched a new site yesterday, so try not to break it. If there are issues, let me know. And thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you all online.